So here's a closer look at the Vivor uh, recovery tanks. This one has a float switch and uh, this one doesn't. The float switch on this is for, uh, you know, when the tank gets 80% full, it uh, tells the machine to stop pumping. This one's just a two wire with a, like an aircraft style connector. Here's the switch apart where I need to make a new harness for it. And uh, it's just the two pins and then you solder uh, the connections on right inside here. You could probably switch this out for other float switches if you want. It has an additional uh, fitting here with a valve. And these are the quarter inch fittings that will fit R12 lines. And then they come with adapters that fits the R134 lines. Uh, these things aren't DOT approved, so I don't know about using these for commercial use. They don't have this uh, standard uh, pressure release valve like this. I believe the pressure release valve is built into the back of here. So I believe this tank has that as well. But I don't know if the valves built into the back here are uh, reusable or if once they blow out, then that valve's no good anymore. 